Okay, I'm going to talk about uh, we call the optical spectral sensing. Optical spectral sensing. In the old days, uh, when we use light to detect materials, we always need equipment called spectrometer. Spectrometer has been on the world for about maybe 200 years. But the main problem is that the system is so big that you cannot use it for home use or handheld device. So it has been a long time that a lot of research group try to think a way to shrink the spectrometer down to a very small size. In that way, you can increase the field of, of application in spectral sensing. And today I'm going to talk about uh, what we have achieved and I'm going to do uh, maybe two demos about this chip. I forgot I'm using iPhone, I have to cut. So I call this technology spectral chip because we already shrink the whole spectrometer into the size of a, a chip size. And the major two application fields we are talking in at the beginning are medical diagnostic because that's all related to everybody's health. And another field we are going to target is that the food safety inspection. This is also related to everybody's uh, li everyday living. So first, uh, in the scenario of application this device into the uh, personal device is that uh, usually if you go to the hospital, you will do a, we, saw, we call it the urine test. And then that's the test strip. But usually to read this kind of uh, uh, strip, you need a very big reader. That's the main reason you have to go to the hospital. But if the spectrometer can be shrink into a size of palm size, all you can do, all this kind of uh, inspection you can do at home. And nowadays, since the smart, uh, the, the iPhone is so powerful and the cloud is everywhere, maybe you can upload the data to the hospital. So you can do your testing at home and let the doctor get your data. But in order to enable it, to enable this technology, we need one thing. We need to make the spectrometer very small and very affordable. So if you can couple this kind of technology with the smartphone, all you can do is that since everything becomes very small, so it's easy to carry. And the test can be done within a few minutes. A test strip like this, the reaction time only takes a few minutes. And the main time you spend it is that you have to go to the hospital, you have to use a big machine to do the testing, you'll get a result. All about takes one week. But with this type of technology only, you do it at home, you get a result within a few minutes. And as long as we have test strip, we can detect everything basically we need. That means we can do a lot of testing. Depends on all the reagent you have. And then it is easy to use if you're covered with a mobile phone, everything is done by the mobile phone, not by yourself. And the spec uh, spectral detection is by all means is very accurate. If you look at the signal to noise ratio, their accuracy can be as, as accurate as 0.1%. If you compare to the uh, glucose monitor now they use, that is 50% plus minus. And that kind of accuracy you can already use at home. And using the spectrometer, you can use the best scan the same accuracy as the hospital. And if you couple with the smartphone, that means you are smart. And another big market we are talking in is that uh, with food safety. Since uh, food is uh, a lot of, there are many, many, many problems. So there are a lot of companies develop this kind of uh, test strip or reagent that can detect what's going on. And there are among, if you look at how many test reagents exist, it's more, it's approaching 1,000 test reagents or test tree. So that means the item that it can be tested is a lot. But the problem is that in order to get a result, you need a reader so big. So that's the price tag. If you look, if you search in the web, that's the price tag you got. So it's not, it's not cheap. Normally you won't buy this at home. You only buy the laboratory. And this only 20 items, this only 12 items, so they are not universal. 
And the problem is that they are not using spectrometer to do the best measurement. But if you can use the spectrometers, everything can be consolidated into just one single device. That's what they do at the laboratory. But since the spectrometer is expensive, they won't use this type of technology for a product. So, spectral sensing is important. They can use in a lot of area, like uh, the rapid test, urine test, alcohol test, hundreds of tests, food safety analysis, water tests, agricultural drug tests, and so on and so forth. Uh, I think everybody knows this, uh, this is uh, International Society for Optics and Photonics. Uh, this is a very big society. And they, two years ago, they sent out a message. They are looking for the next generation spectroscopic technologies. Since uh, spectrum technology has been exist for more than maybe 200 years. So what are they looking for? So in 2006, they are looking for smartphone spectro spectroscopy. It's, it, what's that? It's a, basically cell phone based spectrometers and imagers, especially for field based medical diagnostic. This is important because if this is available, you can do all this checking, inspection at home, not, no more in the hospital. And what's next? Technology and application for handheld. You have to make it small and the ancient spectrometers. And this is not related, so I'll skip to this one. And then, portable spectrometer algorithm to generate actionable answers in the field. That means it got the answer right away. Two years has passed. I, I received this email yesterday. <laughs> means no solution yet. So that's why I'm standing here. So, so I'll show you a demo of what we got. We have the device. And in terms of the market, there's test strip because it's uh, disposable. If you use it, you have to use it again. And there's reagent. And there's APP. All these means a lot of the market area. And then if, if the sensor is widely deployed everywhere, then we can have another big market, that's big data. You can collect a, 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 a huge amount of biological da data within an instance. So by now I should do a demo. So let me uh, switch to the, my demo. And here I'm go, going to show you a demo first. Before I show you this, uh, yeah, this is not my device. <laughs> this is current spectrometer. It's very expensive. If you, if you drop it, then this is gone. So I'm going to be very careful with this. So I, I'm going to make a comparison. This is our device. So the size has been downsized from this to this. So how big is this? Everybody know this, right? This is an SD card. This is our spectrometer. So basically, that's the same size. So we are downsized the spectrometer into this size. So that means it's ready for the development of handheld device. And in the near future, it may even go into your mobile phone. OK, so right now I'm going to do what here is uh, we have uh, consolidated into a device. Here we have the spectrometer and also we have a microprocessor and a Wi-Fi. So the signal will be sent from this device to my mobile phone. So I'm going to turn on the LED. It's working. Okay, so basically you see LED spectrum. This is exactly the same as that huge spe spectrometer got. And then, so that means we can do 
a wide range de detection. This is pixel, but in the end it will convert to wavelength. This is roughly from maybe 400 to all the way to 1100. So that's the full range of visible to new IR. And if you put, uh, let me put a filter in over here, you can see that's the red filter. Uh, red filter. So it's working. And that's a blue, blue filter. You, blue, you see the blue spectrum? That's the green. And then uh, I turn this off. Right now I shine the laser, you see a very sharp peak. So that means it, this res resolution is very good. And that's green laser. Okay, so you see a sharp peaks. That means this is working just as what our theory has predicted. And one more, one more. Yeah. So what I just did is transmission mode. That means you can do uh, uh, reagent, liquid detection. But for test strip, uh, this is, for test strip, we have LED uh, in, the, in front. So I just uh, turn it up. That's the refraction spectrum of this color. And I switch to another one. You can see the refraction spectrum change. Okay, so, okay, and the signal to noise ratio is also very good. So based on this, what we can do is we can develop a lot of applications. And here I'm going to show you one application that we have developed. Uh, it's called urine test. Uh, everybody in the morning, you have to go to the toilet, right? So you can detect your urine. The urine, the best day, can tell the condition of, the, of your health. Uh, let me switch back to here. So uh, if you go to the hospital, they detect 11 items for you. And all this is related to your, the condition of your body health like the kidney, uh, urethra, the, and the diabetes, metabolism, liver, uh, gale bladders. This is all indi indication of your body health. And uh, normally the doctor will suggest you do this every day. But it, it's, will you really do it every day now? Probably not. That's because of the reader is not very convenient. So what we do is that uh, we take this kind of a need and develop into an APP. So I'm going to show you the APP. I still have time. OK, so at the beginning, there are some uh, maybe advertisements. And then we log in the system. The system will ask you for a, a phone number, your password, and things like that. Or you can log in with all this. Uh, all this uh. And then once you log in, we consolidate all the measurement into a <coughs> page. So the first one is for human detection. For example, the urine detection, the blood, the saliva, pregnancy, and so on and so forth. This is all related to human. The next is pets. For dog, cat, or the goldfish, the same. You can detect all these. And then you can check your water quality. And you can do your meat, vegetable, milk, as long as uh, there is test strip or reagent exists, we can all consolidate into a, a home page like this. So uh, I'm going to show you how the urine works. And then you choose, that's me. So first, it will give instructions of how to do the urine. If you dip this kind of test strip into the, and normally it would take uh, maybe 45 seconds to react. And then you just insert that into the device, and the device will read the spectrum one by one. And then after reading, it will convert all this spectrum into these biological numbers. And you can see, that's me. <laughs> My engineer made a mistake. I'm very healthy. <laughs> but uh, anyway, you can check your record. So that's a nice thing about, a nice thing about smartphone. Okay, that's my, you can check your, uh, let's say, weekly, that's every day. Uh, I'm in serious condition, I should see a doctor. 
So basically, this is for ocular blood, you can divide it into four levels. And if you're under this level, this is your health. If you're over this, that means you are in, in, in serious condition. The more, the more you hear, the more serious. And then you can check also the previous data, or you want to check the other items, you, you, just, you just push here, you got the data for that item. Like this, like this, or you want to see the whole report, you see the whole report. You go, go back to the monthly report, you can do monthly report, 30 days. And then yearly report, that you got uh, your monthly average. So, uh, Suppose you are running out of the test strip, you are running out of this, we have a shop over here, you just go in there, and you can do all the shopping. So you can click how many you want to buy, you can buy it for yourself, you can buy it for your dog, you can buy it for your wife, and everything you can edit up and just send it, and then you will get the test strip the next day. And then we can do all these maintenance. And our device is actually, we can, we can uh, refresh the firmware through the website. So that means, not only this is a handheld device, all your data is uploaded to the cloud. And the cloud take care of everything. They have the artificial intelligence to monitor your health. And it will tell you what you should do to get you live better and will tell you not to drink much too much or will tell you not to smoke too much and will give you all the device. Okay, so let me come back to my talk. So that's just one item and there are more that can be incorporated into this kind of APP. So what's our core technology? Uh, it's mainly a technology that we merge the microfabrication technology and nano, nano te nanofabrication technologies. And uh, not only to that, for a device so small, it's not only small, it's very accurate. If you compare the spectral resolution of this one to this one, they are almost the same. And not only that, the signal to noise ratio is identical. Quite, this also surprised me. And the most important, if we want to have everybody to have this technology, we have we got to have a flat base mass production. And we are already done with this. That means we can do high volume production and also can make the cost very low. The meaning is that this can be widely deployed and everybody is affordable for this kind of technology. Thanks very much, that's the end of my talk.